So now this is the first lecture for vector calculus course in which we are going to cover the topic vector functions of one variable. This will be done in several videos. So this is the first introductory video for vector functions of one variable. Now, what do you mean by a vector function of one variable? We will take a function. I'm going to call it function f bar, and I'm going to define it from r, the real numbers, to r2, or I'm going to take functions f bar, which are from r2, r3, okay? So such type of functions in general, I can take here rn. So such type of functions are called vector functions of one variable. So a real number t will be mapped under this function f bar to a pair in R2, which is I'm going to call f1t and second function I'm going to call f2t, which can all which can in short I'm I'm trying to tell you that f bar t is equal to what? It is equal to f1 t i plus f2 tj. So the first component is i component is f1 and the j component is f2, right? So what is an example of this? So for example, I'll write f bar of t is equal to say t square i plus say sine t j. So here the first function is t square and the second function is sine t, right? So this is a this is a vector function, which is going from what? It's a function from, it takes real numbers, means it takes t, t which is a real number, and it is mapping it into what? It's mapping it into R2. So this is an example of a function, vector function from R2, R2. If I write this uh, f bar, as suppose I'm writing f bar t is equal to, cos t i plus sin t j plus t k. So now this is a vector function, which is from r to r2, sorry, r3, okay? So this is a vector function from r to r3. So these are the examples of vector functions in one variable where cos t is the i component, sin t here is a j component and t is a k component. We can also write the same function in, in this fashion. I will just write cos t comma sin t comma t, right? So this is also giving, this t is giving me a vector. What is that vector? That vector is cos t sin t t, which is nothing but cos t i plus sin t j plus t k, right? So this is also a vector function. If I write, suppose I write something like this, so if I write f t is equal to say uh, t cube plus say t square, if I just write this much, now this function is, its input is real number. So t is real number. So function is from real numbers. And uh, this is also a real number. Now there is no i component, j component, k component. It's not a tuple like having three things or two things. So this is also a real number, right? So this, this, in that case, this function is now not called a vector function because the output is not a vector. The output is a real number, which is a scalar. So in that case, we say that this, this is what? This is a scalar function of one variable. Who is that one variable? That one variable is t. So this is that variable. t is a variable. And you are getting the output as a scalar. So this becomes a scalar function here okay so i hope the concept of scalar function the difference between scalar function and vector function is clearly understood just check just check yourself if i write the function f t is equal to uh, t square t cube and t raised to four so which type of function is this this is obviously a this is obviously a vector function of one variable who is that one variable that one variable is t Okay, so in this course, we are basically going to look at such types of functions. Okay, we are going to study the functions which are 
of one variable in this chapter at least f from r to r3 or we will study functions for f from r to r2 okay such functions we are going to set these are vector functions in one variable okay now the functions which are going from r to r2 they are actually nothing but curves in r2 the curves they represent curves in r2 and so we call sometimes these curves as planar curves because these curves are lying in a plane which plane that plane is the xy plane okay and functions which are from r to r3 such type of vector functions are actually three dimensional curves okay they are three dimensional curves let's see quickly why f from r to r2 represents as planar curves and let us see why the function from r to r3 are called as three dimensional curves okay just look at this small animation so if i go into geogebra and if i type f of t is equal to suppose i type the curve that i want to type is cos t comma sin t okay so cos t comma uh, sin of t here yeah, you see i'm typing here i'm typing here in the okay so you see this represents what this represents a circle because we know that cos square t plus sin square t is 1 which is x square plus y square equal to 1 so this is a circle of radius 1 you can see here the radius is 1 okay uh, let me talk uh, le let me take one more curve let me call it gt let me remove the previous example let me write gt is equal to let us take t square comma t t square comma t let us see what is this represent this curve this is a, again a curve in 2d and it represents a parabola if i take one more function let's now take t square plus 2 comma t minus 1 something like this let me see what it gives you it is giving you this orange color you see this parabola the previous was t square t is this this orange color curve is t square plus 2 t minus 1 i'll show you all the pictures now the first one is the circle the second one is this parabola t square t third is t square plus 2 t minus 1 and, and you can type many such functions and you can see various various pictures here and uh, all these represents curves in two dimensions now we will go in the three dimension space so this is x-axis this is red is x-axis the green color line is your y-axis you can see my mouse and this blue is your z-axis so you are in the three dimension space now you will type a function f of t with three components so let me type f t is equal to so let us take cos t sin t and uh, t okay so i will type there cos t then comma sin t okay and comma t so you see that this you will get this uh, curve in three dimension you can move the three dimension and you can see this is how the curve looks like so this curve you, you can see on the if you see the description of the curve here it is written curve cos t sin t comma t and t goes from 0 to 2.3 2 into 3.14 which is 2 pi so if i click there i will get a 2 pi over there and now i will make instead of taking 2 pi i will take it uh, 10 pi suppose i take it 10 pi and i press enter so and let me zoom out the picture you'll see uh something like this it goes till 10 pi so and you'll see a nice spiral is developed here so it's a helix you can see the helix clearly okay so this 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 actually represents this vector function cos t sin t comma t is actually representing what it's representing a helix okay let me take now a different function let's take uh, gt equal to let me take gt equal to t then t square t square and comma 
थ्री मतलब देख फाइव अगेन इट इज लुकिंग लाइक अ पैराबोला बट नाउ दैट पैराबोला इज एट अ हाइट ऑफ फाइव यूनिट्स यू कैन सी दैट राइट बिकॉज बिकॉज द जेड कॉर्डिनेट इज फाइव राइट सो दिस पैराबोला इज लिफ्टेड इफ आई मेक दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव इफ आई मेक इट जीरो दैट पैराबोला विल गो ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस एक्स वाई प्लेन राइट इफ आई मेक इट वन देन इट विल बी लिफ्टेड बाई वन यूनिट अप इफ आई मेक इट टू It will be lifted by two units of the same parabola. Will go up. So if I lift it, say if I say five, it will lift it by five units, right? If I type h t equal to now, let's go to the circle, right? We know the circle was cos t sine theta. Right? So if I type h t is equal to h of t is equal to cos t sine t. We have seen this in the two D things. cos t sin t we know that if i just type cos t sin t it will represent a circle you can see that circle in the three dimension space see here right so this is a circle simply it is representing a circle in the 3d space right but i i, I want it uh, if it means that it has taken the z coordinate automatically zero so if i press zero here it will give you the same output now if i instead of this now if i take two or three the circle will be lifted up by three units on the z axis You see, this is this circle is going up now. So now this, this is a curve in three-dimension space whose equation is cos t comma sin t comma three. In our in our notations, we will write this as h bar of t is equal to cos t i plus sin t j plus three k. Right. So this means that uh, if you type two components here, it will be a curve in 2D. If you type three components here, it will be a curve in 3D. So this is the difference between planar curves and curves in 3D. You just have to change the codomain. If you have three components, it will be a curve in 3D. If you type two components, you will have a curve in 2D. So we are going to study such type of functions in this first chapter.